what up youtube we got another crazy transformation video on some dreads we're doing a blowout this is my boy he has not gotten a haircut in four months but we're gonna change buddy's life y'all see look at the tape let's get it man boom you see me starting with the one and a half guard i have it completely closed just trying to deep bulk trying to bring it down so it's easier for me to go over it um against the green then we got that same one and a half guard closed and i'm pretty much just deep bulking just um, trying to get that hair out of the way honestly if i'm being honest that step kind of messed me up right here because then it left a hard line to fade out towards the end you're gonna see right here i get the two guard so that's a little darker towards the top of the part but you see right there on the corner left corner it's kind of a, a hard line and you're only seeing one clip of me trying to fade it out just so you guys seen that i was trying to but it just wasn't coming out so i'm like let me let me um let me just move on to my next steps and i'll come back at it later so boom you see me do my zero line right there now we're at the half guideline we open the clipper all the way up and we're making a nice little clean guideline so that we see what we're working with and you're gonna see me start to fade it down so i pretty much you know start open i close it a little bit close it a little bit close it a little bit until it reaches um a full zero and that's how i fade out the half guideline boom you see me with the one guard closed and i'm just making a little you know a little not guideline because you can barely see it but just a little area so i know where to go with my 1 16th guard closed and open boom i'm fading out that that one to half lever you know kind of area with the 1 16th so it can fade into each other as you can see this man hasn't gotten a haircut in a long long time it's been i think it was like four three three or four months and you're gonna see how we change this man's life man boom i'm still fading it out with that 1 16th guard and we picked out his beard so we can run a four guard on it he did want a four guard on the beard i did think that was the best length for the beard because if it's too bushy it would um it would look kind of crazy on him guys i want to give a shout out this is my boy uh, armando aka fiji this man be making shirts he makes music super cool guy i'm gonna leave his um links in the description so you can follow him on instagram and hit him up if you ever want like, a custom shirt or he makes rugs as well any type of custom work i'm pretty sure he can do it for you so you guys hit him up all right and now you guys see me fading out the one guard closed uh pretty much just fading out that area so that we can you know blow it out make a skin boom now we pull out the 1 16th guard and we're fading that out as well and now it's just lever all the way open and we're fading it down to closed no guard There we go, that's faded. Now I bring out my Andy's Masters, see if I can bring out that line a little bit more. I did a little bit, but I'm like, dang, this line is not coming out. That I'm, I don't know why that side was such a mission, but we're gonna get back to it in a little bit. And you're gonna see me start with the back of the ear line up. It's gonna be nice and round and crisp. Boom. Straight out, let's go right there. And we're doing this side right here. And now this side, you know how I work. I show you guys one side, you should be able to know how to do the other side because it's pretty much replicating the same thing I just did. And um, here we go, we're doing the 116, or I'm sorry, the one and a half guard. Debulking pretty much, put in the zero line right here. And we're about to put in a half guy line right now as well, watch. Boom. So let me talk to you guys a little bit about my videos, about my channel. I want to first appreciate you guys and thank you for all the love and support you've been showing on all my videos. All the likes, all the, the comments, everything means a lot to me guys. So I'm just trying to come out with as much content as I can with you, for you. And I do have another video, another tutorial coming out soon with a uh, straight, really straight hair. I usually post a lot of um, a lot of blowouts and stuff, but this one is going to be a skin fade with a beard. So you guys look out for that. Make sure you don't tune into that one. I think you're really going to like that. As you can see, boom, we got the one and a half guard. Not one and a half guard, one guard open, and then we're closing it. Trying to fade them out real quick. Boom, brought the one. There's a two guard, so this time I didn't even go with the green. I just took the two guard out and just um, debulked it, which sometimes works out better depending on the client's hair. My man has a, he has like a mix of both. How do I explain? Curly, curly hair and very straight hair. It's like a mix, and that mix is sometimes a mission to cut. But we got it done, as you guys can see. You guys are gonna see with the end product. Fading out the beard, you can barely see um, with this camera angle, but all you gotta see is the beard, you know, getting faded out, so it's not that bad of an angle. 
I am trying to work better, trying to get better angles for you guys, get my camera, you know, better set up, have better lighting, all that, because I do want a more professional look in my videos. And right here, this is where, you know, the angle isn't super great because I'm not showing you the whole side of the beard, but, you know, we're learning from our mistakes. Next time, I promise I'll try to do better. I'll try to have better angles. But you guys see, I'm lining them up in the back. And this is where I fixed my camera angle because this would have been crazy. As you can see, I'm just debulking here at this point. But I am going to move the camera down so you can see the whole fading process. Boom. Now we're doing the one guard. Or I'm on the one guard. Now we're doing the zero line. Uh, pretty much just going all around the head. With these zero lines, uh, we do have to go curved when it's in the back because the back of his head and his neck are curved, so you can't just do a straight line. Now we're doing the half guideline all the way up, uh, pretty much, let's say like an inch of space, pretty much, just so you can know how fat the guideline needs to be. And we're fading that out. Guys, right here, if you're looking, you can see on the right side, he has a horrible, horrible, crazy little guy, like a little line there that is super hard to fade out. And if you know how to cut hair, if you've been cutting hair for a while, you know that that little line right there can make or break your fade. You see me right there working on it, like, ooh, that that little line right there is a little mission. But you know, day we get the job done. Right now we're doing the one guard closed. We're making a little guideline. Boom, just going all the way across, you know, the back of his head. And you see how I'm going certain ways. Look, I'm going to the right because his hair is growing down to the left, so you gotta go against it. Pretty much going up against it to the right. Boom. That's another guideline right there, just so you know. Just so we have a cleaner working area, so I know what I'm doing. Oh. Boom. Fading that out with the 116th guard closed right now. Open. And just working on my steps. You guys know my steps by now. If you don't, I pretty much make a zero line. And I start with the highest guard that I have to, depending on the haircut. And I fade down. You see me putting in the work with the 116th guard. Now you see me putting work with the one guard. I'm sure it's open to see both a little bit. You can see it coming together. I'm gonna say right now the back of his hair, like you know the the back blow up, that was a little mission for me. I can't even I can't even lie. It was a little you know a little challenging, but I like the challenge. I like you know being put in situations I'm not comfortable with. So it was a it was a fun haircut at the end. And this is my boy, so I got to see him after a while. And I'm fixing that back line up pretty much because it looked a little bit too pushed out where it just didn't look crisp. So I just pushed it in a little bit. Uh-huh. And then boom, right here too. That was a quick clip, my bad. And you're going to see me come back with the one and a half guard. Pretty much cleaning up the little line that I see right there. And boom, here we go. This is the main event. That tape is crazy. Three months grown out, but boom, we're going to start debulking. As you can see on the screen, guys, like, subscribe, comment, get notified whenever I make a video so you're the first one to know. So boom, we're going to start in the middle. Start in the middle. He told me that um, obviously his hairline isn't perfect. And well, he doesn't have a bad hairline, honestly. You just have to make it. And on top of that, his part is was not perfect. It's a little, um, it's a little, how do you say, his part is kind of uneven so one side is a little higher than the other so it can't throw you off and it threw me off for a little bit there was like this one point in time where i'm like yo i'm gonna just start recording right now the hairline the tape so i can take my time on it and not worry about angles so i did do that um but you can see right here where you know trying to get them as crisp as possible pretty much without pushing them back too much and i brought the side of that little corner down a little bit so that's easy to line up now boom we're starting at the bottom going towards the top curve right there there we go and you see me fading it out a little bit right there with a clipper this is actually a all natural haircut because he didn't really want a uh, enhancements which is completely fine if you don't want enhancements I'm not gonna put on enhancements just for a video you gotta make sure that the client is happy with the haircut not you know not the other way around I honestly keep like was very happy with the outcome of this haircut super stoked but right here we're just doing a little bit of blade work look at that come on guys look at that oh, a little blade right there but look at that you can just see all that angle look at that haircut doing a little bit of blade work and here we're starting at the corner of the the c cup 
all the way at the top and we're going all the way around making sure it's nice and all courtesy if i had to say one thing that i struggle with the most when it comes to cutting hair it's probably that c cup that c cup to me is um, a little mission sometimes i see myself pushing it sometimes so i am trying to get better at that guys but when you see me putting in the line just going over it bringing it down right here and now we're doing the mustache I didn't show the bottom of it because my camera was about to die. I didn't show you the bottom of the, of the beard, but you are going to see the, for the most part, like the finished product. Boom. This is how he came into the shop, guys. He came in looking, looking real crazy. Hair all outgrown. You know, he just needs to get cleaned up, but that's what barbers do. We clean them up. We make sure that they're presentable. And I'm glad to say I got my boy in the game. Boom, look at that after. That before and after is it's kind of insane, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Look at that blowout. Blow out in the back, line up in the back's clean. And he had to shout me out right here, guys. But guys, this is the end of the video. If you like the video, please subscribe. Please show love. Turn on the notifications. Leave me a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.